by looking outside. Some cloud cover around, but all in all, it has been a very nice, mild Christmas Eve day as temperatures are right now in the 60s in most locations across North Texas. There's been a little bit of a breeze. Winds out of the south, southeast. That's bringing up the dew points. They're still relatively low. They're in the 40s, but they're going to come up through the overnight hours and meet the temperature, and that's where you get this. Fog forming in the overnight hours. Uh, it looks like along the 35 corridor, so around the Metroplex, there could be a little bit of fog tomorrow morning as we get up for Christmas. I think the thickest fog will be in the morning hours after Santa has made his trip through, so the fog shouldn't be in the way. Christmas Day forecast, we're going to start mild. We're going to be in the low 50s, a little bit of drizzle along with that fog. And then we're going to keep a slight chance of rain through the day. A few showers here and there. Certainly don't change any plants. You've got temperatures in the mid 60s by afternoon. So it's going to be a mild Christmas day as well. Satellite radar view. You see the clouds streaming up from the south. That's also where all that humidity is coming. But let's take a look way out to the west. And you see that swirl right there? That's the next storm system. And it's actually going to be here the day after Christmas that we have some strong thunderstorms in the forecast. So here's a midnight hour and the morning and through the day. A lot of cloud cover for Christmas Day and a few passing showers, which you can see here, you don't see much green. So for the most of the day, it's going to be dry for most people. Now, as we fall into the overnight hours headed into Wednesday morning, those rain chances are going to pick up. We're going to go to about a 40% coverage. This is noon on Wednesday, and notice the rain really starting to gather to the west of the 35 corridor. That front starts heading towards us, and we start talking about the risk of severe weather. It's going to start in our southwest county and then a line forms and it rolls across North Texas through the nighttime hours. So it looks like sometime between 11 and 1, we've got that line coming through the Metroplex and that risk of severe weather, damaging winds, large hail. As, as the front continues to push through, that's the good news. It's going to clear out those thunderstorms by the time we get to Thursday. So the severe weather risk, 3 p.m. on Wednesday to Thursday, 2 a.m., that starts that storm risk in our southwest. Breckenridge to Comanche, down to Stephenville. That's when we think that will be in the afternoon hours the chances start. And then that severe weather risk goes over the Metroplex starting about 11 p.m. So it's late Wednesday night into the early Thursday morning hours. And the storm risk of, of for severe weather at least is lower across our northern tier counties. But we'll have to keep an eye on it nonetheless. We know we're going to get some big rains from this along that line. Maybe one to two inch rains. It's been a while since we've had a really big rain here, and that might happen on Wednesday. Here's the seven day forecast. Again, on Christmas Day, tomorrow, temperatures in the mid 60s. Storms on Wednesday, especially as we get into Wednesday night. Well, we go from an 80% chance to a 90% chance of rain and thunderstorms Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Thursday, all this clears out. We get in the mid 60s, and then look, Ken, look what happened Saturday and Sunday. That cold air comes back. We're going to have highs in the 40s to close the year. That is a steep drop, Jeff.